So for today's video, we're gonna be talking about the components of computer. So the basic components of computers are input devices, processor or CPU, memory, and output devices. Let's first talk about the input unit. Input is any data or instruction that is entered into the memory of the computer. Input devices are any hardware that allows user to enter data or instruction into the computer. Keyboard and mouse are the most common input devices which are used. Keyboards is used to enter information and commands to the computer. Now next input device is the ball mouse. This device is operated by rolling its ball across the flat surface. So wala nang ganyan ngayon ball mouse, hindi na yan uso. Next input device is the optical mouse. This is an advanced pointing device that uses light emitting diodes in place of the traditional mouse ball. Movement is detected by sensing changes in reflected lights. So, ito na yan, optical mouse, yung uso ngayon na ginagamit. Now next, we have the output unit. The job of the output unit is just the reverse of that of an input unit. It supplies information and result of computation in the outside world. Monitors and printers are the most common output devices which are used. Monitor provides output to the user. It is where you can view the information you are working. Next is printer. Printer is an output device that provides hard copy of the information. Information to the user is in printed form. Okay, let's move on to the next component of the computer which is the memory. We all know that all computers need to store data. In main memory, data is stored temporarily while the program is running. While back in data is used to store data for long term to preserve the programs and data while not in use. In memory, we have two, the primary and the secondary memory. Primary memory is the temporary area for holding data. It also stores the program currently being used. Primary memory is also used to hold data produced while the program is running. Primary memory is of two types, the RAM and the ROM. RAM or the random access memory is the major portion of the primary memory. It is also the memory that is used by the program in execution. If the computer gets turned off, RAM will lose all the data. RAM is volatile, meaning it holds data when the power is on. When the power is off, RAM's contents are lost. Next is ROM or the read-only memory. It is the memory which we can only read but we cannot write on. ROM is non-volatile, meaning it holds data even when the power is on or off. Now from the primary memory, we have the secondary memory. Secondary memory is the permanent memory of the system. It has more storage capacity and it is the backing storage of the computer. As an example of secondary memory, we have the magnetic disk and the optical disk. Magnetic disk stores data in the form of magnetic direction. Hard disk and floppy disk are examples of magnetic disk. Now, let's talk first about the hard disk. Its access to data is far faster than access to data in a floppy disk. This is attached to a spindle and that spindle is rotated by a motor. The speed of disk depends on the speed of the motor. Now, next is the floppy disk. It consists of plastic disc coated by the iron oxide. This access mechanism is arranged as a hardware unit called disc drive. Di na po to also ngayon. Now next is the optical disc. It is an electronic storage medium. Read operation is done using the low power laser beam. A laser reads the dots and the data is converted into an electric signal. The output form of this device is in audio and visual format. And for the next component of computer, we have the processor or CPU. The CU or the control unit and the ALU or arithmetic and logic unit are jointly known as CPU. CPU is the brain of the computer and it performs data processing operation. It also controls the working of the entire system. 
Now let's talk about the arithmetic and logic unit. Arithmetic and logic unit is the place where actual execution of instruction takes place during the processing operation. It consists of circuits that performs arithmetic as well as logical operation. All calculations are performed here. All calculations are performed here. Next is the control unit. It acts as a central nervous system of other components of the computer. It manages and coordinates the entire computer system. It gets information from the main memory and issues a signal to control every other unit of the system. So that will be all for today. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the notification bell below. Bye-bye!